Hi everybody, this is Gad Saad for the Sad Truth. If I were to ask you which 10 people from throughout history you'd invite to your next dinner party, who might those 10 people be? Think about it for a second. Well, in December 2014, I wrote a Psychology Today article where I shared my list of 10, the 10 people that I would invite. And I also shared the results of a informal survey that I had conducted where I put out a call uh, on my social portals asking people that exact question. I received responses from 34 people and I basically tabulated the frequency count of dimensions. So who do you think made that list? Uh, so here we go. You ready? Think about it for a second. Uh, at number one, this is the list of the 34 people who answered my, my call and then I'll give my own list. Uh, at number one, a fellow evil juice, Albert Einstein with 17 mentions. At number two, Charles Darwin with 12 mentions. At number three, Christopher Hitchens with seven mentions. Tied from positions four to six with six mentions each, Jesus, Shakespeare, and Leonardo da Vinci. Tied from positions seven through ten with five mentions each, Isaac Newton, Aristotle, Socrates, and Jane Austen. And then I'll just do one more from positions 11 through 17, tied with four mentions each, Mark Twain, Plato, Alexander the Great, Nietzsche, Cleopatra, Oscar Wilde, and Hitler. You could look at the full list uh, at my Psychology Today article. I'll include the link to it uh, at the bottom of this clip. Now, what about my list? Can, can you guys guess who might have made it to my list of guests? Some of them you're probably not surprised. Others maybe you didn't expect. So here we go. Uh, in no particular order, Charles Darwin, Albert Einstein, Kim Kardashian, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, uh, Isaac Newton, Galileo, Socrates, Plato, Aristotle, Leonardo da Vinci, Maimonides, and King Solomon. If these guests, if any of these guests can't make it to the party, two gentlemen that I would include on the alternate guests list would be al Mari. Many of you may not know who he is. He was a forceful critic of religion uh, roughly a thousand years ago. In the Middle East. So talk about a gentleman who had testicular fortitude. There you go. And then Baruch Spinoza would be another gentleman uh, who I would love to be able to interact with. So that's my list. Let me know what you think of it. Perhaps you could share your list in the comments section. In any case, have a great weekend. Please share this clip. Look forward to talk to you soon. Cheers.